morning guys so we are off for breakfast at the hotel so we're not off yet <laughs> and then we're going to head to another view of the Eiffel Tower because we can't get over it well especially you hey guys so we walked from the hotel to hey guys so we are walking to I don't know if you guys watch like Gossip Girl or uh, Monte Carlo. Those are like my favorite favorite Paris movies, even though they're like fairly new. Um, so we're going to the area, you know, where you see the steps and you go up. Um, so we're going to that that uh, spot. We found it yesterday because um, we're thinking in our head, where is it? And we kept it walking. We we're like, you know what? Let's just check. And we finally found it. Um, so we're going to that spot and then we're gonna head for a lunch around like two or so. We're gonna try out Looks Kebab and for this time we're definitely going. And yeah, I can't wait to show you guys another view of the Eiffel Tower. I feel like there's like so many different views you can get of the Eiffel Tower, which is so cool and I love it. I love exploring different, different like views. So today we were thinking of going up the Eiffel Tower, but as you guys can see, it is really really foggy so I think we're not going to do any viewpoints today luckily we did the Ferris wheel yesterday hey guys we got to the bridge with the famous locks puts their locks there you go there you can see and then you also have a really nice view of the Eiffel Tower another spot basically so we reached the spot where we're going to go on top of the stairs and then they have these balloon things where they take the pictures for you it's about 10 euros per picture so they take a few pictures and then you have to choose one you picture. Want that, please? Please. But it's really, it's really nice. Yeah, so where you see the Eiffel Tower here, there's a garden here. Um, there's this guy that does newspaper prints here. And we did one for ourselves. And you can literally tip him whatever you want. So that was really cool. It's a great memory. And we're definitely gonna try and come back here for the night to get the sparkling lights. Hopefully we will see. Um, but let's hope we do, because it'll be such a great view. Hey guys, so I have to stop thinking, hey guys, I keep on doing that. So we are walking to the metro on our way to Luxembourg Kebab. Hopefully by then we get hungry. We're still kind of not really hungry, especially after breakfast. We tend to eat a really good breakfast because we take our time. So yeah, I can't wait. It's a really cute place and they have some really cool food. Like I've seen the pictures of that and it looks so crazy, but so good. Um, and I really want to try like a sweet and savory, so I'm excited. Yep, just walking. This is the view. So we just got on the metro. Um, we just, uh, the lady that was there that we usually get our tickets from wasn't there. So we just used the, um, the, the ones that you have to do yourself. It was quite easy. We just chose the one for a ticket for anything for bus metro. Um, and we just bought return ones so we can come back and it's less hassle. And this one actually here you get the view of like Paris, which is really cool. There was a better view of the Eiffel Tower, but I literally just missed it. Um, I got it on my TikTok though. So I definitely suggest to take this. This is this is the M6, the Metro 6. It's a really nice one to see the city because it's not underground. Hey guys, so we just got off the metro. I definitely think using the metro is so much easier and so much quicker to get around places in Paris. And it is so effective. I only realized it now after using public transport in Dublin and then using it in Paris. Oh my God, it's like a whole lot of a difference. Like I would probably be getting to work much quicker than one hour, you know? So now we're just heading to the restaurant. Okie dokes, let's Guys, go. we literally just came off straight at the metro. You'll see Jules, and then you follow Jules, and you'll get to look. Um, they have so many different options for food. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what they got. And yes, it is halal. This is the inside of the place. It's really cute and trendy, honestly. I love it. I can't wait for the food. So this is what we ordered. We ordered their famous um, stuff and this one is a spicy one. This is our popular triangle one, and this is the normal uh, donor one. So good. And we got some drinks, we got the pack one, and the blueberry lemonade. Let me see how that goes. 
Hey guys, we just finished off at Lux Kebab and it was so delicious. It's definitely somewhere to go. Um, it was so good. And we just popped into the mall that's opposite um, at Lux Kebab just to check out, uh, you know, check out what they have here since we are in this area. And then we'll probably head to Angelina. I still need to go to Angelina. <laughs> I'm just worried about the line because as it gets later in the day, the line gets longer. Um, but let's hope we do get in though. Well, that's about it. Hey guys, so we took the metro to the Louvre um, to get to Angelina. And now we are on our way walking to Angelina. I'll let you guys know how the line is. Uh, we also want to go to Pal uh, Palais de Real. Um, don't. <laughs> uh, don't get offended how I say it. <laughs> I need to check how they say it. <laughs> I'll check on TikTok. But yeah, it's cold today. Hey guys, so we reached Angelina, the decor here. Oh my god. I can't wait to go inside. I literally just checked inside to see what it looks like and I am obsessed. I'm so looking forward to going. Hey guys, so this is Angelina. It is so stunning. I'm so happy that I came. And then this is what we ordered. I literally just came for the hot chocolate. So literally hot chocolate and croissant. So you put the cream in the hot chocolate and then you dip the croissant in the hot chocolate. Trust me, it is literally so good. I'm so happy I came here. Even though I'm not a hot chocolate person, it's definitely worth a try. Hey guys, so we just finished off at Angelina and it was so good. I'm so glad I came and I'm happy I got in time. Um, so if you're definitely coming, I think for hot chocolate and croissant, come to Angelina and the interiors are just to die for. But yeah, I think now we're going to head to the swatch store that's close by here and we'll see if we can find an Omega. We came to the swatch at the Louvre. Well, let's see. Inshallah we find it because he really wants it. Hey guys, now we're on to the metro to go back to Shams. Champs Elysees. Um, uh, Omega, literally, I think all of them have the same stock, and none of them can tell us if any location has that stock. Um, but we've been to two locations, and pretty much they all have the same stock, which is like red, yellow, and red. Hey guys, so we are walking towards a dinner tonight. We are going to the butcher for burgers and fries. The last time we had a burger was Sunday. Yeah, today is Tuesday, I think. Yes, it is. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna have that for dinner and then we're gonna head home. Um, I mean, sorry, head <laughs> back to the hotel. Can you tell I'm tired? <laughs> yes, we've been waking up way too early for my liking. But I like waking up early anyway if we have things to do, you know, and I'm excited because we're in Paris. But um, yeah. So I'll show you guys the restaurant. And yes, it is halal, fully halal. So we're going for some good beef burgers. And apparently they're like one of the best. So we'll see and let you guys know. But yeah, these are just the streets in the night. Hey guys, so we arrived at Lee Butcher. Um, this is what it looks like. And we have halal burgers, so let's go. Hey guys, so we ordered the chicken burger with the fries with the cheese and meat on top and then we also ordered the Michelin Lise um, burger that's the most popular one um, I definitely prefer the meat over the chicken but the chicken is still good if you're a chicken person then go for that one hey guys that's the end to our night and we just got to our hotel and yeah time to go chill it's almost 10 o'clock so it's late